<laughs> Welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we are going to talk about the combat manager and we are going to break down its features. So uh, I provided an examples combat manager which you can review in the example content if you want. But uh, right now we are just going to uh, showcase the features of the manager and we'll need to create our own combat manager if we if we want to customize what uh, the, the built-in features of MC according to our game. So if you want an example, uh, the combat manager provides uh, built-in desk features uh, regarding ragdolls, for instance, and maybe you want to customize how ragdolls are behaving or maybe you want to customize how damage, damage types are being handled. And in that case, you will need a customized combat manager. So we are going to create a, a folder in our uh, content browser named managers. And we are going to create a new blueprint class named, uh, we're going to type in combat manager. And we are going to create a new BPC combat manager like this and we are going to call that bpc my combat manager and whenever we add that component to an actor it's going to have all the properties uh, it's going to be able to use all of the built-in mc features uh, regarding combat uh, like the two examples i was talking about and you're going to need to add my combat manager to your actors instead of the regular combat manager MC provides if you want to use your customized features. So whenever I'm saying, uh, so I'm opening up uh, a basic third person blueprint. So I was saying that whenever in a video, in a video whenever I'm saying add components uh, combat manager, for instance, you'd rather add your own combat manager rather than the regular combat manager if you want to have your customized feature. And it's so in this video, I'm talking about the combat manager, but it's the same for the other the other managers. Sometimes uh, I will I will say, for instance, add the stat manager. Uh, you want to create a child. You want to, to do the same thing for the stat manager than we just did for the combat manager. So you want to add my combat manager to your actor. You want to hit compile, hit save. In this video, we're just going to review quick the features it has. And in the next video, you are going to implement uh, this combat manager for real in your actor. So I'm just going to drag and drop these components we just added. I'm going to drag a wire out of this combat manager and I'm going to type in features. So what does it provide us? It gives us uh, first thing we can see if we if we go up the list. First thing we have are the apply effects, which are cleans, damage, heal, knockback and status. These are all the basic features the combat manager provides. This means that anyone which any actor which has a combat manager can can actually apply these effects to other actors which have a combat manager. Uh, and then we have the desk functions, buildings functions, which are, uh, so I'm explaining them. I'm going to review these in other videos, but they basically trigger desk events and they they wrap up several functions with each other and this makes it's, this makes our life easier to trigger specific death events. Uh, Ragdoll is self-explanatory. Uh, it, automatic, it automatically turns your mesh into a ragdoll and propel, pr propels him somewhere. So get return focus. Uh, the combat manager is able to tell us if uh, one of the team, if a team is an enemy or or on the lie, etc. This is interesting when you you're starting to to do some team related related stuff, obviously. 
set heat feedback duration uh, is about uh, the heat feedback. Uh, how many time? Uh, uh, how many seconds is your character blinking when it takes damage? So this is a feature which is going to have its own video. Each of the feature is going to have its own video, which you are, which you might review if you want. Uh, but the heat feedback is basically when you take damage, you blink in a certain, uh, you, you blink in white, for instance. You can specify the material as well as the feedback duration. Update, update mesh based materials. You have to call this, to, to call this if you modify the material applied to the mesh, which is supposed, uh, well, uh, it, this is going to be explained in the heat feedback video. So this is what basically needs to be you basically need to call this if you want the heat feedback uh, functions to work properly. And then you have a bunch of uh, functions under the damage mitigation category. These are all the functions rel related to uh, when you take and deal damage to reduce the, the amount of damage depending on a, a, an armor stat, for instance, uh, a, dam a damage resistance, uh, when you want to apply damage effects, damage tips effects like like burn, fire, stuff like that, and also when you deal damage, uh, what bonuses to take into account, etc. Uh, the floating text, the combat manager provide a built-in a, a built-in system to to display floating damage text, and then you have the receive effects, which are just the counter the the apply the, the first functions we've seen was the apply function to apply damage and stuff like that uh, and the receive are just the event we get when we want to uh, if you want a combat manager to take damage you have to call receive damage on him like this and then you have uh, a little utility function just to know if uh, a target is be is being is under the effect of a specific type of status. So the combat manager has a lot of functions. Uh, you can customize ev most of the things, and when you'll be customizing your functions, you you'll want to open up your combat manager. This is the combat manager you use for your game. So whenever you had a combat manager, you add a combat manager. Is it is this one? And we are going to learn how to add these components to our actor in the future videos. So it's going to wrap up this one. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see, hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.